we are going to take and use all of these things to turn this into we're going to take a piece of paper towel fold it a few times just a little chunk of paper towel I'm going to use some I've already removed it from my thumb we are going to use some nail polish remover to wet the paper towel and then we are going to just gently rub it across their finger until the colors come off. Make sure you get all your edges down the sides of your cuticles. Under the front of your nail there's a lot of times that it gets caught up underneath of the nail. Okay. Okay. And to the next finger, if you've got enough uh, nail polish remover still in that piece, go ahead and use it. If not, grab another one, do another, refold it uh, inside out, and. Uh, there's three. I have to get underneath the nail. Yeah, there's some hiding under there. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is take this and we're going to open it up, fold it inside out. Then we've got another clean spot to use. Once you use up this whole paper towel, they're really fun to craft with after they dry enamel paint stays on there it's pretty sometimes it's pretty you get little shots of color so I'm going to continue to do this and I will be back when I'm all done okay all cleared up now make sure you go and wash your hands because you're going to have some of that nail polish remover still on your nails and you are going to want to get that off before you put more nail polish on, or otherwise it will eat at the underlayer. So, I will be right back after I'm done washing my hands. Okay, so now my hands are washed, my fingernails are very clean, and I am going to move these colors. Uh, you can use any combination of colors you like. I also have some dotting tools. And for that, I'm going to get a little piece of paper. I have a little piece of paper to do my colors on uh, when I use my dotting tools. So. Now I am going to do my right hand first because I'm right handed and it's harder for me to make the left hand match than it is to make the right hand match. So I just do the right hand first and then match the left. So I'm going to set this forward a little bit so I don't knock it over. Let's go here. Kind of swirl it a little bit as I pull the stick up. Can you see what I'm doing? Just kind of swirl it around the thing and it kind of cleans your little stem off. And then when you get to the brush, just go slowly. You'll keep plenty on there. And then come to your nail and just place it right at the cuticle and drag all the way to the end. Place it at the cuticle and drag. Make sure you get your whole nail. Come back to that side if you need to. I'm going to continue to do this. And when I am finished, we will come back and um, I'll tell you the next step after these are dry.
Okay, I'm going to do the other hand and I'll be right back. It was a hard job to get. Okay, now we are going to let this dry completely. Don't rush it because you will regret rushing it. Trust me, it's going to be all gummy underneath and it ain't going to stay on and it's going to look nasty within a day or two. You want to let this layer dry completely. Please, I'll be back when mine are dry. Okay guys, my nails are dry. I've been sitting here about 15 or 20 minutes. We've got our little sheet of paper right here. You can use post-it notes, piece of plastic, note paper doubled over, anything that's not gonna seep through. And I don't really know like if these have numbers or anything, these little ball um you know a little you know what they're called let's have some fun so we're going to take some of this newly shook up disturbia wet and wild color and we're going to put a drop on our paper we're just going to do a few drops at a time because it's going to dry out fast on the paper Using plastic, it may stay a little longer, but it could be a little messier too. So we're going to do like three drops here. There we go. Just one. Won't let go. Okay. I'm going to put my pinky right on there. Now I thought maybe I would do a flower or something, so we'll see how this turns out. You take this dotter and you go straight down into the nail polish blob and you just move it in a circle and you pick up as much as you can on that little ball and you bring it straight over to your nail and dab and dab and then you go back and get some more. I would not go more than two dabs. Dab. Dab because um, it'll dry off the ball at the end and it grabs onto what's underneath. So see here we have a cute little flower. We're going to move on to the next finger and do the same thing. I'm going to drop it in, roll it around, pick up a nice amount, go straight to the middle of the top and I just dab. And then we're going to go again. Dab. Dab. Go again. Dab. Dab. Go again. Dab. Okay. Next finger. Well, let's do a little half one at the bottom because that nail's a little longer. So we're going to kind of dab at the end. I'm going to do an individual dab for each of these. Leave a little space between and kind of curve it down. I can see there, and then we'll put a little bit of that gold at the bottom there and it'll look like uh, another flower. Okay, go on to the next finger. Dab. 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 Dab and a dab. Okay. Next finger. Dab. 
Deb. Oops, shouldn't have done that third one. It never comes out good. Deb, 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 Deb. Yeah, well, there you go. All right, the hard part is showing you my thumb without, oh, there ain't much sunlight here, is there really? How about like that? Does that help? All right, maybe I can turn it towards you this way. Try not to mess up the flowers I just put on. Okay, so we're gonna straight down dab and spin. There we go. We're gonna do a dab right here. Dab at the bottom. Dab on the side there. Okay, we messed that one up. Dab there, dab there. All right, it is what it is. Let's do another one since that's another long finger. Probably do another whole one here. Oh, we might need to get more nail polish out, actually. It's feeling kind of dry. Okay, so let's take that. We're gonna stop and we're gonna roll this up on the paper towel. Okay, and then we're going to get some more of that nail polish out there. Okay, make sure you're not hitting your fingers right now. This is the right color, yes, yes. One dab, two, get more in there. Yeah, they got three more. Okay. You want to have enough because otherwise your little stylus thing here is not going to pick it up. Okay? So make sure we got the same end. We're going to go back to trying to do this thumb. Okay. Straight in there and spin. Now we're going to go boom, boom. And boom and boom. Boom and boom, and we got us another little flower down there. I like this one, we're gonna do a little side flower thingy here. Just a couple of dots maybe at the edge there. Like that. Okay. What do you guys think? Can you see? Okay. Now we're going to move on to the other hand carefully. And I'm going to go ahead and do it. And I'll try to make sure you can see. But, you know, can't guarantee you everything here. So. These are called dotting tools. Okay, now that I have the flowers laid out on all both fingers, 
I am going to let them uh, dry a bit and then I'll be back. Okay guys, nails are dry, been about 10 to 15. Okay, so this one, we're gonna take it and we're gonna just make sure there's a drop on the bottom. Oops, don't knock it over and lose it. We're gonna go right in the dead center of that little flower. Boom. Okay, you see it? And we're gonna do it again on the next one. Okay. With the corner of the brush, boom. And then this one here, boom, just at the tip. And here, it's a little bit bigger in the middle. So we're gonna go boom, boom, boom. To make sure we got it all on there. And we're gonna take our little stylus tool. And we're gonna kind of spread it out. Don't go over your black, just go right up to it. So just like that, so you don't have some big glob on there. Okay? Wipe off your tool, pick back up your gold, and go again. And we're gonna just go boom. This one's also a little larger. Boom, boom, boom. Make sure we get it all on there. Get our tool. And spread it out. Now it doesn't have to fill the whole circle. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. It just needs to have a few at least touching the outside there and laying flat. So clean off our tool again. And then go for the gold. I'm going for a thumb now. Gonna get a good size glob for this one. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're gonna get our tool, drag it out again. Now you're not trying to dig in there, you're just trying to move that glittery stuff around. Do it too. Um, Enthusiastically, you're going to end up regretting it because you're going to have gouges in your paint job. Now, we got another large one on this thumb, so we're going to do another glob right in the middle. Boom, 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 boom. Get our tool. And we're going to spread that out. We need a little bit more on that one. So let's hit it again. All right, and I'll just drag it that way. Here we go. All right, well, clean up our tool. And let this dry for a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to go and hit the other side and do the same thing. And then I will be back. So there you have it, guys. That's how I did it. That's how you can do it. You can use any color combinations. Uh, you can go dark to light instead of light to dark. You can do just about anything. I'm really loving these little ball tool things. Just can never remember the name of them. <laughs> well, if you guys like the video, please hit like, share, subscribe, do all that good YouTube stuff because that's what tells YouTube that my quali I have quality videos and that they need to share them out. Otherwise, I get lost in the sea. Help me, I'm lost at sea. Oh no. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.